None but those who lived through the fourth night know how hopeless it was. I can only assume the previous nights were the same, but as they lasted much longer, I can't imagine how mankind survived. Without the Lightbringers and Arch Knights, everything would have been lost. When in battle, the Shade are relentless and care not for injury or loss. A Shade would sacrifice itself in an instant if it could but kill a single person, and thus, through baiting and feints, we finally turn the tide. But don't misunderstand me. The Shade never retreat. We only claimed back what was lost by killing every last one in each battle at great cost. It seems the Shade are physically unable to surrender, and I lost count of the times I should have died to a wound if not for the healing powers of a light bringer. It was during the fourth night that I met my beloved, Tara. Such a strange time to find warmth and love. After much fighting, we found ourselves in a position to launch an assault on the underworld. I had never dreamed I would venture into that labyrinth. Doing so would have been suicide if I had not been accompanied by the knights who had led the charge. Somehow, they were able to sense where the Shade pooled their powers to cast night upon the land. As we traversed the underworld, we passed many enormous halls and roadways carved out of the stone by some ancient subterranean civilization. As to who they were or what happened to them, no one knows. The Shade attacked us each fall as we traveled, and there were many desperate battles, as the strongest of the knights was unable to release the full force of their powers for risk of cave-ins. Of course, the Shade had no hesitation in that regard, and they used their dark powers to kill many. We were met by the largest collective of Shade once we found their primary nest at an entrance into a great cavern. We fought with everything we had to get the stronger knights close enough to destroy them. Though we destroyed the Shade Nightcasters, escaping the underworld was another matter entirely. Thus began another part of my life I wish I could forget. We hoped day had returned to the land, but until we could get back to the surface, we didn't know. There were still thousands of Shade infesting those terrible halls. It took a year to escape. Yes, a year. It was like the passages changed as we moved through them. Calling the underworld a labyrinth is apt. How did we survive? Food and water wasn't an issue, for there were ample insects and mushrooms to eat with underground waterways common. Sometimes we had to stay in the same cavern for weeks just to rest and resupply. What made survival difficult was the constant fighting and darkness, in addition to the other horrible creatures that live in the underworld. We would have become shade ourselves if not, if not for the light bringers. By the end, all that was left of the hundred thousand strong assault was a mere hundred. Many mighty arch knights had fallen. At the surface, we were met with blessed day. I vowed then that if it would ever be within my power, I would find a way to eradicate the Shade once and for all to spare future generations from what we had endured. We left to pick up what was left of our lives, and thus began the fifth day. Fifteen years of hell and darkness had ravaged the world, just like the other nights before the one we had endured. Starvation was rampant in those falls, and the aristocracy didn't do a blackened thing about it. They made sure to feed themselves, but not the people. I could remember my anger at that, the righteous passion that coursed through my veins. I was a captain due to my service through the fourth night, and as one of the few survivors of the great assault, I was respected and even revered by many as a war hero. I used my influence to reason with the aristocracy to feed the people. I even, <clears throat> I even proposed new irrigation systems of my own design, but my designs would send the aristocracy into poverty themselves, and they denied my proposal. But I didn't give up. I was a thorn in their side, constantly confronting them and telling the people of their crimes, rallying support, and building my profile. 